Do you have a tube coupler that just won't slide into the tube and you know it's a pretty close fit and you'd like it to work? I'm going to show you a technique of peeling tubes in this video. Welcome to Advanced Construction Videos, where we show you how to tackle rocketry building techniques and more. On our website, we sell kits, motors, building supplies, and electronics. So come and learn, shop, build, and fly when you visit us at ApogeeRockets.com. Hi, I'm Tim Van Milligan from Apogee Components. I'm going to show you how to peel a tube to make it skinnier so that you can slide it into a coupler. Now, this often occurs when you find a tube and you want a coupler to fit into it um, and it's not a manufacturer tube or maybe the humidity has swelled the paper and caused the coupler to be really tight. So uh, the technique here is to peel the paper off. Um, the way these tubes are made is that there's several layers of paper on them and if we peel them off they'll get skinnier so that they'll slide into a tube. Um, you can see this outer layer on this one is uh, red paper and then on the inside we have brown paper and this is called craft paper. It's the same stuff that cardboard boxes are made out of. Uh, the technique involved is finding where the overlap is in, on a spiral wound tube, which most all tubes are. Um, it's really easy because there's a seam and if you just find that seam, you can start peeling. So I'm going to take a, a hobby knife here and I'm going to come in at an angle kind of almost parallel to it because I don't want to gouge it. I just want to find that edge like that. You know, and I can kind of peel it back a little bit. See, I'm not getting it quite yet. Usually you have to, uh, between the glue, uh, the, the papers are is a layer of glue and um, that glue is stronger than the paper. So you're going to either take um, trying to get off the upper layer leaving red behind or you're going to be down into the brown layer. And I'm probably going to be down into the brown layer. That's what I'm going to try to do here. Get a little bit deeper. So when I peel it back, you can see a little bit of brown on the back side. And at that point, I'm going to just slowly Peel it back. You can see I've got a little bit of red here. It didn't go quite deep enough here, but I'm, I'm deep enough there. Um, and that's what I want. So I'm going to slowly peel it back. You can see I'm kind of going at a, at a 45 degree angle. I want to go nice and slow because um, like right here, it's, it's letting go on me. So I'm just going to get my knife blade under there and then continue to peel. Okay, again, it's starting to tear right there. So again, I'm gonna just get my knife blade under there. Okay, so now I'm getting here, I don't know if you can see it or not, but I'm getting to the next layer of paper, the spiral on the next layer. Okay, so you can see the spiral right here of the paper that's underneath. Um, like I said, they, these are several layers of paper, so uh, you can just keep peeling. And this is going to take me a few minutes to do the whole tube, but you got uh, the technique of how you do it. So you want to use a, a pretty sharp blade for this. Sometimes you get you get paper um, that's stronger than the paper underneath, um, and then they'll peel a little easier. This red paper is pretty weak stuff, which is okay. You know, the only purpose of it is for color.
Okay, so this is where I'm going to pause the video and peel off the rest of the paper and then I'll come back to it. Okay, so I have completed peeling the tube and it's pretty fuzzy. And the solution to that is you're gonna take some sandpaper and first you're gonna sand it down. Make sure that you get it to the right diameter that you need. So you see that fuzziness is coming off. Okay, so that's the general technique of sanding it down. If the fuzziness, you, you can't have any fuzziness on your tube, um, the solution for that, and I think I showed this in a different video, is you take water thin CA glue, and I should probably get my glasses here just so that I don't get any splashed in my eye, um, and you're just going to paint it on. Um, before it uh, kicks off, Wipe it off with a paper towel. Take off a lot of that material. So I took it off here and it, it'll make it a little bit smoother. And then just keep going around the tube. So I do a couple square inches at a time, then wipe it off. And now the fumes are starting to kick off. So I'm gonna stop that. Um, but then it cures pretty fast because it gets into those fibers and the water and the fibers um, makes it cure real fast. So now it's already hard and you can see I'm not sticking to it. And then you're going to sand it again to get it down to the smoothness that you need. So this is some um, 150 grit sandpaper and then I would switch to a finer grit sandpaper. This is 400 grit. And then just continue to sand until you get to the level of smoothness that you need. So now at this level of smoothness, I could actually use this on the outside of the tube. So we started with the red paper on the outside. We peeled it off. Uh, we sanded it down. Then we, you can stiffen it up, those fibers on the surface, with some thin super glue. And then re-sand it again and you'll get a nice smooth surface. Now you do have that groove in there, but, and you'll have to fill that like you would normally fill a body tube. Uh, and I've got videos on how to do that, and I'll link those here to this video. So that is the process of peeling the outside layer of a tube off, and this is really good, particularly for tube couplers. Um, and there's a different technique for peeling out the inside, and I'll show you that in another video. So my name is Tim Van Milligan. You're watching the Apogee Rocketry Workshop. May the winds be light, may the skies be blue, and may all your rockets fly straight and true.